What's up guys? Been meaning to do this video for some time now. Um, just wanted to touch on the uh, JH Motorsport solid short shifter kit that we have on my 2017 V9 Audi A4 six speed manual. And um, you know, I've, I've been using this for just a little over a year now and it's, it's taken quite the beating on track, but it's also improved the car's feel quite a bit. It's shortened the uh, shortened the length between the shifts because Audi out of the box does come with pretty long throws. And um, and yeah, so we basically had um, contacted JHM to see if they had something like this for the B B9s, and they didn't. So what they offered was to take the car and do their test, do their measurements and everything else, and try to create one for one of the 2100 cars in the United States at this point um, it's a fairly small market but they were very uh, they were very kind in taking the car taking it apart and making this work one of the biggest feel uh, one of the biggest uh, differences in the feel it comes from the clunking of you know very raw feeling uh, raw feeling shifter but also the reverse lockout spring they ended up putting a stiffer spring, so now it's it requires a little bit more uh, more of a push down to get into the reverse, but also gives it a again a sturdier, tougher feel. The best one is obviously these clunks as you roll through the gears. Very precise, very accurate. They did this all in house. I'm actually going to link the uh, link the description, or I'm sorry, not the uh, not the description. I'm going to link the installation video on this particular car from JHM's channel down below in the description so you can see what it takes to install a short shifter and make it aligned and work properly but um, one of the other one of the other additions was uh, JHM basically created a solid um, a solid shifter linkage uh, not a linkage a cross rod a solid shifter cross rod which there's it does give a little bit more feedback in the whole uh, rowing of gears and versus Audi's which is fortunately a plastic bridge with plastic uh, with the plastic spherical ends so in turn it ended up definitely reducing a little bit of weight out of the car probably talking a few ounces few grams nothing crazy but also a more direct feel the shifter um, so right now we're running both the combination in the car and I couldn't be happier with the, uh, with the shifter uh, no issues at all year and a half again aggressively shifting on the track and you know in a more mellow fashion shifting on the streets never had any issues it's perfectly aligned it's dead center and neutral and the gears are exactly where they need to be you know the throws and the uh, selection of gears they're exactly where they need to be with no almost no difference between the factory and theirs again We've shortened the uh, we've shortened the throws. Uh, this is actually on the longer setting, so at some point I'm probably going to end up either taking the car apart myself or more likely contact JHM about switching it over to the shorter throws. But right now I'm very happy. We've lost about half an inch of throw in total out of you know like out of between first and second, where you know we have to be rowing like this. Also the shifter height went down about a quarter quarter to a half an inch. Now it doesn't sit as tall, which makes it a little bit more comfortable because I could put my arm on the armrest at its low setting and still be comfortable on the street. And then on the track, it makes all the difference in being able to minimize that lost time. I mean, no matter who you are, no matter how good you are, you're never gonna be able to shift like an automatic, but you know, anything, any type of help is obviously a positive, especially if you're trying to shape down a tenth of a second off your fastest lap. But this product is available, it is on their site, not entirely sure so I'll put the price in the description link the product very happy with it it is a bit of a tedious uh, installation process so just follow the jump on the description link and check out what it takes to install the uh, install the short shifter kit on the car it's it can be done with a DIY um, it's a lot more complicated so I ended up installing the uh, short shifter on my B5 as well I did that one myself that one is a walk in the park compared to this this requires taking apart panels it requires you know pulling off the whole center console disconnecting a bunch of electronics versus the b5 it was just really simply pull the boot get a couple of bolts out and just with a small work workspace get in there and reinstall the short shifter kit took a 
couple of uh, tries with a few errors, but that one was easy. This, definitely, if you're not if you're not handy or not haven't done something like this before, I do recommend professional installation. Uh, JHM is really good about taking care of their clients. I mean, I've had I had a couple of uh, small errors with them, and they were quick to resolve it. Um, now I'm just kind of hoping and praying that they do make a clutch, a high performance clutch that can hold some power for this car. Because as you can see in the prior videos, we are running a stage two, uh, stage two map. It's a pre-production pre map. So we're still testing it, but you know, assuming where the production map comes in and we tweak, it, we retweak the car, I can almost imagine that we're gonna gain a little bit more torque. And sad to say, Audi's factory clutch is probably not gonna handle it. It's gonna end up burning itself off. Uh, so hopefully JHM sees this video. I mean, they know, they, they know who I am. I've bugged them so many times about creating a high performance clutch. So I think it's in the works. Hopefully we can see one sometime in the near future. And really it's, it would be such a joy to see more people taking advantage of this platform. And just, just how good of a platform it is. It's just unfortunate that only 2100 cars exist in the United States, but makes it a little bit more rare, a little bit more desirable, and hopefully we can see some people taking advantage of the uh, of the B9 platform, especially with the 2.0 engine, because it has so much, so much potential. And with the manual, it's just as pure as you can get, especially with a couple of modifications, just to take out the softness of the factory, because Audi, no matter how sporty they get, they still make it really usable and really drivable on the road. So. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was as informative as I could be. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments and please do like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel and try to dump more content into the B9 platform, but also plan to include my B5 as well as it progresses right now. We're in the reconditioning process. We're trying to get the car up to as close to new as you possibly could make a 22 year old car. And once that's done, we'll either end up building the engine or just dumping something completely outrageous under the hood and doing a full conversion. So yeah, thanks for watching. And again, please don't forget to like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, please do drop a comment. Uh, JHM, I'll link the uh, products, uh, both the cross rod and the short shifter for this car. And I will link the installation video from their end. Thanks for watching.